we're entering a time where average is officially over. Our customer is changing, we're gonna change. We're gonna meet the customer where they are. But wherever they are, what we have to get back to doing is winning those moments of truth, winning those moments of human connection, turning those transactions into relationships through a valuable experience. That's our competitive advantage. Ryan is one of us. He is an expert in sales and leadership. This is that moment where deep expert sellers who can convey and teach complex solutions focused on customer value win and win big. But what it takes is the fortitude to challenge your customer, to push them out of their comfort zone. And he is going to challenge each and every one of us to think about what kind of a leader am I? And the question becomes, as leaders, how do we respond? Or how do we leverage this time of transformation as a catalyst to play offense and win big? How many of you have purchased anything from Starbucks, let's say, in the last 18 months? Raise your hand nice and high. Very addicted sales organization. We just proved that 95% of the coffee drinkers in this room, consume coffee without any regard to price whatsoever. <laughs> Customers do not buy on price. They will default to price in the absence of value, real or perceived, and a quality experience. That's on us. We know this intuitively, but sometimes we forget the impact we have on people. And I'll give you two questions that'll help elevate that awareness. And these are quite they're great leadership owner self-assessment questions. I use them every day. And the first one is who did I impact today? Ownership is about impact. You can, you can ask that question both inside your business and outside. And then the second one, how will I be remembered by the people I worked with today? You know, when I asked, I said, who's worked for an extraordinary leader, somebody that changed your life, made it, every hand went up. So you've had that experience. I'm gonna challenge you for just a second. Who sitting in a room like this would put you on their list? And what gift are you giving away each and every day? That's leadership. It's humility, sacrifice, service, putting other people in a position to be the very best they're capable of becoming. So the best sales presentations today are what we refer to as throwaway presentations. They're so customized, you can only give them once because it's only relevant to that particular client at that particular moment in time. Then you throw it away. You gotta be obsessed with customer success. You almost look at results for the customer as your results. You're co-creating an outcome. When you're customer obsessed, you have an opportunity to create differentiation. Everything you need to accomplish all you deserve in your business and all you desire in life is right here. It's inside you. It was put there for you. Our challenge as leaders is we just have to unleash more of that into the world on a consistent basis and connect other people to it. That's the beautiful gift and the opportunity we have. She hands me the drink, and she said this to me. Ryan, have a safe trip back to Cleveland. Go create some special memories with your family. And when you come back through the Minneapolis airport, I want you to stop right here and tell me all about it. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> 
I got about 20 feet away. I was a little overwhelmed, you know, and I, I just paused. Most people would rather be anywhere else in the world on Christmas Eve than in an airport serving coffee. Not her. I mean, it was like she was meant to be there. So I had to go back. I had to go back. To go back and interrupt her. I said, excuse me, Lily. And she turns around, Ryan, is everything okay with the latte? I said, no, no. Latte is perfect, just like you said it would be. So I just had to come back and ask you, what is your secret to making such meaningful connections over serving coffee? She said, Ryan, I'm not serving coffee. I'm pouring happiness into people's lives. Yeah. She would have had no way of knowing this, um, but I was not in a good place. Flying back to Ohio that morning, uh, it was going to be the last holiday I would get to spend with my dad. I will never forget that cup of coffee. When you choose consistently to show up as the best version of who you are, it gives you your best opportunity to meet people where they are. And you never know when someone needs you to be your best. The most important minute of this meeting is Monday morning at 8.01. What are you gonna go do based on the week you spent here? What can you commit to? And the cool thing about the idea of owning that 8.01 moment is yep, 8.01 a.m. Monday is gonna roll around. And you can decide how to show up, you can commit to growth. 12 hours later, 8.01 p.m. is gonna roll out. And, and if you show up there in service of others as the best version of you, 801 a.m., win the day, 801 p.m., pour into the people you get to love and the people that love you back, that's success. I did not know how emotional I was going to be during Ryan's presentation. And touching on the fact that we want to make sure we have a connection with our customers really kind of hit me because I know that that's what we do at Caesars Entertainment. We're a growth mindset company, we always have been, but to put some actual tactics to it that can really help us know what our next action plan is, I'd say it just relit the fire and just added more fuel to it.